All right, here we are with another image. And as you can see, I have my finger inside of the image right now. I don't want that there. So we're going to go ahead and remove it. We're going to click on the retouching tool in the left hand toolbar. And we're going to use the first option for the healing brush. You can simply hit Q on your keyboard and that'll pull up this option. Now, I have my feather set to 67 and I need it set to 100%. So now that it's set to 100%, I will make my brush a little bit smaller. And all I'm going to do is paint over my hand and make my selection of what I want deleted or removed from the image or healed, however you want to look at it. All right. So make a good selection over the space like so, and then just go ahead and drop and click away. Now I'm going to grab the green icon and I'm going to move that around. And as you can see, it's copying into some of these other places. Now, I'm going to drop my icon there for a second and you're going to see it's on one photo raw is thinking down here, this little blue line, and it's trying to figure out how does it want to heal it. And it did not do as good of a job as it should have. So we'll just drag this over and we'll drop it again. Sometimes you have to play around with these things to get the uh, look that you're going for but after a while and a few attempts I think I had too small of a brush if you ever get too small of a brush you're gonna have to repaint the uh, the selection so I'm just gonna repaint because my brush size was too small and I know that because as I was trying to maneuver around, I was running into issues. And all I'm trying to do is match up this stem coming down here. Because this background is so pale and it's almost one color, uh, or it's a very muted color, it's a little bit easier for me to make this selection and I think my feather may have been up a little too high so let's try it again let's move the feather down to about there and now let's see if we can get a good selection uh, you, you definitely want to get some hard edges when doing stuff like this Okay, we'll go like that. Let's see what on one can put together for us today. Okay, now that is a much better edit. And I have my leaf ready to go. So all I have to do now, I'll hit done with that tool. Come over here and I'm going to go with my black and white solo preset and boom, I have a image that I'm ready to go with. Uh, one of the other things that I like to do in these types of images, uh, this one probably would have had text over it, but I don't think I want to go with text. I will just crop this in to something like that it's a little bit more interesting and it draws the the viewers attention you know it's a solo leaf it gives some motion in the frame all that good stuff but that is for another video go ahead and hit okay mm -hmm. 